Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to my channel, Synergistic Singing. What is good singing? In my mind, there are two types of good singing. There's technically good singing, and then there is artistically good singing. Technically good singing is pretty easy to define. Basically, you have a sound in your mind, and that's the sound you sing. And you know that you're singing the sound you're intending. <laughs> you can record, listen back, and that's the sound. And then the next requirement of technically good singing is that you can do that sound again and again and again and again, and you do not run into vocal hoarseness or strain. And you can do that for decades, and your voice feels great. It does not affect your voice in an unhealthy way. And there it is. That's technically good singing. Very easy to define. Now, artistically good singing, <laughs> that's a mess. Artistically good singing is completely up for debate. There's really only one similar common thread that it spans across all genres and listeners, and it's that the singing is in tune. So it's absolutely required to sing in tune for you to sing in an artistically good way. However, once you're past that, it just completely depends on the audience and the listener. It's like asking, what is a good color? Well, any color can be good or bad depending on what you like, right? It depends what kind of colors you like for what, for what purpose you're using them for. So when you are thinking about the artistically good side of your singing, when you're asking, is my singing artistically, is it, is it there? Is it good? Do I sound good? You need to ask, who am I singing for? And if you are just singing for yourself, you are your own audience and it's, you're just singing for fun, then if you like it, it's good. If you are singing to an audience, that's when you have to know your audience really well, know what your audience likes, and sing, sing what they like. And then you always are taking the risk, just like when you're buying a gift for someone, you're taking the risk that they might love it or they might hate it. And that's always going to be there. However, it's easier to deal with that risk if you know that you are happy with the sounds that you're making. I hope that helps you clarify the differences between artistically good singing and technically good singing so that when you're working on your singing, you are thinking about these different categories and you're not trying to please the whole world with your singing. You're just trying to please your audience, which might just be you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for future videos. And lastly, for voice lessons, either online or in my Austin, Texas studio, go to synergistsingingcom schedule a lesson. Thanks for watching.